Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Welcome back to a Division 2 video. Today we're going over the two new named weapons added to the game with their respected perfect talent. And indirectly, of course, talking about the new talent added to the game. Is it worth it or not? The two new named weapons to the game are the drill. This is an assault rifle and the cricket. This is an LMG and they both come with the perfect precision strike. Killing enemies farther than 20 meters builds up stacks, a max of 2. Hitting an enemy within 20 meters will use all the stacks to provide 35% amplified damage to enemies within 20 meters for 5 seconds. And this does a lot of extra damage. That 35% amplified damage is a lot. So now of course the important question, how do these guns fare in the open world and or within missions with their respected talent? It feels decent within missions, but I gotta say it doesn't feel rewarding for you as the duration is only 5 seconds. When you take two people out from 20 meters and further and then you start pushing in because you want to apply that 35% extra amplified damage, the moment you push in, you shoot that first enemy, that's five seconds kicks in, you can take out a bunch of enemies and it feels great, but if, and in most missions there is, there is another spawn there, you lost that damage. You stepped in the 20 meter radius, so you will not stack up that damage anymore and you lose a lot. You really miss that talent and I would love to see that they might change it if you take somebody down, you extend that talent or the 35% amplified damage will kick in for all ranges and it has to take longer than 5 seconds. Now it's not worth it to take somebody out from 20 meters and further away to then push in to only get 5 seconds of amplified damage. 9 of the 10 times it will be your death or at least you will be fighting for your death instead of giving you an advantage. That 5 seconds of advantage is not good enough. The guns feel great and the talents are perfect for these guns because both of these guns are in their respected weapon category just straight up. Laser beams. They are great to shoot with but it just feels underwhelming, especially when you need to stack up those two kills without any additional damage to then only get five seconds of damage within 20 meters. Nine of the 10 times within a mission, you can kinda set that up, but within the open world, when you step into that 20 meters, you will take maybe one or two people down. If you step into their spawn point, you'll take a lot of people down, it feels great, but then the talent deactivates another spawn. You don't have any extra weapon damage whatsoever, and it's probably gonna result in you kissing the floor. So overall, the guns feel great, the talents feel perfect for these guns, but the talent just feels underwhelming. Only 5 seconds, at 35 amplified damage is nice, it feels great when it activates, but it's just too short and we can only apply that to people within 20 meters. You don't really utilize it that much, especially in the open world. And yeah, that's pretty much my opinion. Hopefully they change a few things around because again, this is the PTS. Things are still subject to change and hopefully they will look at this talent. But of course, I wanna hear your opinion about this. Did you have the chance to test these guns out? And if you didn't, how does this video sound to you? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your opinion. And thank you very much for sticking until the end. Like the video if you liked the video or helped you out in any way or form. And of course, if you're new here and or you wanna be updated by the Division 2, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And I will see you in the next one. Pure Prime out.